in here. Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm sitting here with Justin, who is off camera. He's over here right now messing around with uh, my new, uh, well, never mind. And, uh, and uh, we are going to be doing some weird stuff right now. Um, and this will be a first time deal for me to do it, so we may screw this up completely. It's, uh, Justin has made it clear that he'll pay for all damages and doesn't hold me responsible for anything. Yeah. So Justin has decided to go to, I guess they call it mode three on his DJI. And what that means is basically, it's the equivalent of you taking your controller and turning it upside down and basically reversing all the sticks, okay? So he wants uh, uh, pitch and roll on the left and throttle and rudder or yaw on the right. Completely opposite, right? So not like mode one where it's throttle on the right but rudder on the left still. He wants it like literally take the two things so here we go. Now, I have already opened this for a second and then realized that, well, Justin prompted me. He's suckering me into doing this, knowing I'm probably going to screw this up. But let me go picture in picture here and show you how bad this is going to be. And you can't judge me on this because I'm being forced to do it against my will. So hold on. Here we go. <laughs> so there you go. So here is the controller. All right. Poor DJI. Innocent little DJI controller is about to get gutted. It could break, and I'm pretty sure DJ will not warranty that, so. Uh, I mean, he may become a Free Sky customer after all this is over with, depending on how this goes. So we're gonna open this up, guys, and I did open it up briefly. I mean, it's a very simple part of that, um, but <laughs> some of the screws are still in there, so here it goes. We're just gonna do this quickly. So if you wanna do this, um, here's what you're gonna do, right? So you've got uh, eight screws, it looks like. So you've got two on the top here. Just go ahead and take them out. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't put them back in just to show you how to take them out again. I guess I just could have pointed at it, but forget it. We're past that point now. And I usually don't edit my videos, but if this goes really south, <laughs> as you can tell by that little rattling in there, I got one of my screws still in there. But I figured, oh well, we'll get it in a second. See my little shaver thing right there? Yeah. So that was replicated. That was what I used to duplicate a uh, vibration on a drone to see if the, and it's cool because it's just, it's, it's just something that I was doing to um, test to make sure that I could tune out different levels, frequencies. Yeah. So that was one way to make sure. It was pretty neat, but wow. um, yeah, yeah. Thorough. Where it doesn't look like, it looks like a shave in here when I'm working, but I don't. I was wondering. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna peel back these uh, this piece as well here. Make sure to get in. Don't come here, little girl. No, look, look, come here. It's a drone tester right there. You say hi, everybody. It's my dog. This is uh this is Wonton. Um, her sister Lomain is in there, and then Noodles is in there too. But Wonton's small enough to fit through the gate, so she comes out and says, "Hey, what's up?" She got big old eyes too. All right, go on. Go get you and your eyes back inside. Or not. Sam, I'll get my wife to get her in a minute. Oh, all good. All right, I know, but I'll roll over her toe beans and then I'm in trouble, okay? Yes. You know. All right, so we're going to keep going here. And some of these screws just are not coming out, but you get the point. Unscrew these. All right, we're going to move the other side. <laughs> Unscrew these ones too. That's a tension screw to three, four. Let's see where am I at here? Okay. They're done. They're just not popping out. And then let's peel these feet off right here. Okay. Set those aside. 
and then get these last two here. Hopefully those will, there we go. Five, six, okay, so there's six of the eight that need to come out and they're loose, they're just kind of stuck in there. So here's what you do next, okay? Now assuming that you've got them loose. So look, keep this down and pop it, okay? And when you pop it, you're gonna get the plastic to come off. So it's gonna, it's got the little clips on it, but if you just pop it, you know, pretty decent strength, that's it. You'll get that off. Be careful, you gotta take this ribbon out. So on this one here, just be careful with this end but I'm gonna pull it from this end here. And there you go. So there's there's that part, right? And my, I don't know, I guess the loose screw must have fallen. Oh no, wait, you know what? I bet it's in here. There it is. So there's my screw right there. I'm gonna put that back over here. Okay, so now we're gonna look at this and figure out what we're gonna do. So basically what Justin wants to do is he wants to take this controller and move it over here. And he wants to take this controller and move it here. They're identical controllers, though, okay? So theoretically, we can leave them where they're at and just swap the parts. That's the idea behind it, okay? So if you were to take this piece and just flip it over and rotate it as you're going 180 degrees, you would be identical. So what we don't want to do is waste our time trying to physically take the plastic off, okay? Mm -hmm. What we do want to do is we want to jump this piece and this over to here, mm -hmm. all right? And we want to basically take these wires and move them here and these wires and move them here. You... DJI is notorious for this. They've given you a pretty crappy cable here that if you, if you, looking at this one, it reminds me of the Mavic. If you screw this cable up, you're toast. Mm. You can get another one. You can't grunt on the out. They don't know who you are. You're like, all they hear is grunting going on. There's Justin right there. He's like, mm. Okay, that's who you're, that's who's grunting. All right, so, um, so what we're going to do is let's just get started first by checking out what happens when we set it on fire. All right, just kidding. What we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to take off Ah, let me get a real fine tip one here. I may go with like a flat head. Yeah, there we go. So let's start with this here and see what we're working with, okay? Oh, there goes that screw. Hold on, I need a good screw. There it is. And then we're gonna take this off here. All right, this is our tension here. So let's, there's another one. And again, now because it's inverted, you're basically gonna turn this upside down when you move it over, okay? Be careful, just because you still got that ribbon cable there, but my, I'm assuming that this should now, hopefully, let me see where I'm at, should fit just like that. It, I think it's going to. I don't think it's going to be a problem. And we've got to take this piece off as well, which looks like it's just clipped on. So, so far. Okay. Come on. Come on, you little turd. There we go. All right. Get your trusted tweezers. There we go. So now you can see they're starting to resemble each other even more. So this, again, sat like that, so turn it 180 degrees and just pop it on here. Okay, be careful, you got a ribbon cable under there, but I'm hoping that I should not have any problems with that. There we go, all right, that's one. Now, let's look at what else we got. We have, uh, let's compare everything here. So we've got tension screws here, okay? And we don't have them, but we do have it here. So if we turn that, so this one stays. Uh, let me see what else I've got. Mirror-wise, one, two. Let me just make sure I get everything calculated. Oh, here. So I've got this one here, which would go here. If that's small enough. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to take that. Yeah, that pretty much renders that useless. So take this screw now and let's see. Again, we're just going to see. So we have to make a mirror finish this. So let's put this one here. Uh-huh. Oh, there goes that. What the hell? Hey, inside. I got it. Be right back, guys. And, oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. But who, is there a dog? No? No, just this one. Oh, okay. Is it off? I'm going to push it off. Yeah. All right. You, sir? Yes. Okay. Back to business. Sorry, guys. 
All right, so one's out of the way. Now again, remember guys, we're flipping this over. So we are looking for a, a, an identical here. So if this all shifts over, that means that the next one goes over here. Okay, so we're gonna take this one here. And I'm gonna keep checking this as we go, just to make sure we're getting somewhere. And I'm not just moving crap around for nothing. So here we go. Again, first time to do this, so I'm allowed a few mistakes, I hope, but we'll see. <laughs> it's, it's a great way to start any kind of work for somebody to say, hey, look, yeah. you know. All right, so, yeah, let's just, yeah, thanks. Uh, so let's put that right out there. All right, so what we've got now is... Um, good, all right. So far, so good then. Uh, so let's see, we want to go ahead and, no, no, not that one, no, 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 where was I at? Okay, over, over. Yeah, that's there, so that's good. And I believe if I was to, I just want to check this and make sure. Oh my gosh, you can't get this in there, come on. So we got this one down. All right, so let me make sure now what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and I'm going to turn this one here. Let me make sure I got all those and I do. I'm going to go ahead and put our tension on here. Okay. And away we go. That's what I'm talking about. Not really. Oops. Let me put that back. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm happy. All right. Let's go ahead and put this back on then because we're going to need this too. screw in now. Okay, so now starting to get the action of our throttle, right? Like it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on this side, we are starting to get, and we'll use our screws and everything, we'll level those out, but so far it looks like we're getting exactly what we need out of this. Okay, and uh, yeah, so far it looks pretty good. Um, let's see, we wanna make sure that our screw in the center here, okay, and this one. All right, now we need to see our tension screw here, so that. applied here. I hear it. Uh, maybe in the lid? Yeah. Let me see. Battery lid. Oh. What? I know it's here. Yeah, maybe it's not, maybe it is. All right, well, we'll just leave that. Let the noises run there. We'll figure it out. All right. Okay, guys, so now what we've got is basically what we're left to do is we're left to take the wires here, okay, without screwing up the ribbon that DJI so kindly put right in the way, and we need to somehow get them to move. And now this is where it gets interesting.
Okay, my guess here, and it's pr probably a pretty good guess, and this is where the ribbon issue is going to come in, is the wire is run underneath, so the fun part now. Okay, hmm, here we go. Let's just lift that for a second, and let's look right here. screw that's going to basically be holding the base in there and we're going to take the other one out because those wires are tucked in right under there and i can't get any more distance out of this like that so we're going to now Oops. okay take those two out and we should have some movement now on this and what i want to do is i want to get this wire this black and yellow kill a fellow this would be great it's just what i need Okay, so I'm just going to pry it here. Looks like this will probably be the best way to do it. And I say that, hopefully I don't break anything, but I'm going to pry it up just a little bit and try to grab this with the tweezers and feed it through if we can. And if we can't, then we'll just break the whole thing and tell Justin to buy something else. <laughs> Brutal honesty. It's how we do it here at Cycle and FU. Oh, God, this is going to be a fun fit. All right, I'm just going to go at an angle. And very gently, gently, gently. I guess I could remove the ribbon, but that would just be too easy. We're just gonna go like stupid here. Am I even on? Oh, yeah, I am on. Okay, my bad, guys. All right, I'm a little nervous here because this damn ribbon's in my way. All right, let's see if we can pry it open a little bit. There we go. Let's see if we can get that. With that much open, let's see if we can grab that yellow and black ribbon or those wires. I mean, and. Try our best to get them out. Wait, I can't see. I got no light. Nope, can't help me, Justin. Do not move anything. We're not allowed to render aid because people don't always have somebody there to help them, so I must battle through this impossible shit on my own. <laughs> okay, a scalpel. I watched Grey's Anatomy last night too, so I'm like totally into this right now. I'm removing the cobalt hip. That is infecting Dr. Weber's bloodstream. And. Uh, all right, here we go. Come on, you. Come on, oh, look at that. How beautiful. Oh, shit. All right. So, got that wire out. I have saved another life, although we're not out of the woods yet. So, hold on, I gotta hold off. I could totally screw this up still, but let's, let's hope I don't. Are you sure you couldn't have, like, you just didn't want to, like, maybe rebuild the drone from scratch and, like, totally reprogram it <laughs> so that it could have joined SpaceX today? I mean, God, anything easier would have been... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the next yeah, one. Yeah, Lee, go big or go home. All right, here we go. So we're going to try to grab this without screwing up the ribbon. So far, I, I don't know, but come here. It's a lot different when the customer's not watching you. I just want to point that out, by the way, because you could totally screw it up and the customer wouldn't know, but the customer's right here. So, so I can't hide it if I screw it up. The pressure is just unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It's all good. I've done this a thousand times. Once now. Zero times, except for now. That's right. i to be fair and honest here. Why? Come here. Come here. There you go. Yeah, just roughhouse with it a little bit. 
drop a little DDT on it, a little suplex, a little WWE style. Get the... F All right. So, in the last five minutes, I've accomplished nothing. Uh, but I feel good about it because nothing is broken yet. So, there's an upside. And my fat fingers don't make this any easier. God darn. All right, here we go. We're going to turn this around now and try to look at it from a more positive angle. It's not as positive as I was hoping. So I'll turn it back. All right, maybe we go this route. Sam? No, sir. Oh, so it's the dog's trying to get out? Yes. Ooh, y'all gonna get in trouble. Fast forward it. Mm. All right, finally. Okay, so now we have hopefully enough wire. I think we might. I think that might be okay to reach to here. That's our goal. All right, so I think we can do that. And now we have to do the same on this side. But the good thing is on this side we don't have any crazy cables. So let me go ahead and just put this back down without ruining. Trying to ruin the ribbon there. Okay, that one's down. Let's go ahead and put these. Well, hold on. I gotta make sure I got enough ribbon. So I'm thinking that at worst case, I may have to pull this out as well. So let me see, if I was to lay that on top, it might be all right. Uh-huh, did I? Sweet! Yeah, now we definitely have plenty of room. All right, guys, so there you go. Yeah, that worked out well. So It's gonna become a very popular mod for you. No, I don't, no, no, no. Listen to me, people. No, it's not, okay? Fly properly. That's all I can tell you. I don't want to do this shit again. I'm doing it one time because I like the challenge. I don't want this challenge twice, okay? Yeah, no. Okay, now let me try to put this screw back in without screwing this up. And I think you can see how we'll pull that off right here. Have I thanked DJ? Have I thanked DJ for using such a... Awesome ribbon cable. I mean, like, really, like, that's just murder right there. They know it too. It's the way they protect themselves from you getting in the crap. Okay. All right. So the good news is that that's the last time we have to really undo these screws. So the ribbon, if it remains good to now, you probably are okay. Hopefully. All right. Now. Now we can move a little quicker on this side, guys. So just make sure you do pull out both wires, okay? You're gonna have to pull both out to get a nice, comfortable fit uh, to go to the next spot. And let's go ahead and loosen this one here. Tell you what, they don't give you, I mean, these screws are all kind of loppy job. There we go. We'll use a flathead. It just seems to be a little bit easier for this one. And you will have to remove the two bottom cables. The top cable you don't, I mean, the top screw up there, you don't have to remove. But the bottom ones you do because you gotta lift this thing up. Get the screws past it, so make sure you've got a good set of uh, needle nose as well. Or, I mean, uh, what are those called? Tweezers. All right, so we're going to pull the yellow one out now from the, uh, which would have been the original throttle. 
So let me move this out of the way and let's fold that under and then let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and See what they're doing? Is she trying to get out or in? Oh, just throw her. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, this is a little interesting because you got to get fit this around here. So my guess is if we go underneath there and then lift it, hopefully. Uh, I don't want to lift this too much though, so let's see. I just have to move it past the slip. So let me see if I take the screw out. Maybe I can move this just a little bit then. take the brown cable out here while we're doing it so I might as well go ahead and see if I can get that one out too what we're gonna do around that one is just kind of pull it through like this did the first one there we go oh actually we got enough length with that we don't even have to use the yellow one the yellow one could have stayed in so we're good all we have to do is pull the brown out okay guys so that's good so leave the yellow one in there because the lip is caught under here anyway and so if you don't have to go through that trouble don't all right now uh, these were in reverse so Still, hopefully, these should, they should just plug right in. There's one. Come on, you little bastard. Get in there. And there's two. So, for the most part, i got to make sure these wires are clear. And it should be. That should clear. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to turn the glue on just to make sure we can tack that down. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw everything else back down again. I believe that for the most part we're done. I think that's it. Uh, I could be wrong though. So if I miss something, we'll just have to come back into it and fix it. But um, mainly at this point, all I want to do is I want to make sure that we test it and that everything moves backwards so it's abnormal. Feel good about that. As long as everything doesn't work properly, that means it's <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Come on. Did it come out? Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Now, um, I just want to look at these. I don't believe that it's not in here. I, there's something. Now it's got me going nuts. So let me make sure I'm not missing something here.
Have I lost my mind, dude? Like, I really, really I, I can't, like I can't, I, I think it is. I think I'm losing my mind, but I think, I think it is. I, I can't, can't imagine that anybody built something that makes that, now where'd that go? See, it's, it's like, it's like the Bermuda Triangle. It's just taking everything. Okay, I'm gonna put that one down. And then I need to find the other one. Can't be. All right, where would my other screw go? This is this is my life right now. This is how it goes. I'm looking for this one. That bound. Oh, here it is. Is this it? I think so. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Here. That's not the one. Get out. There's one. Get out. <laughs> uh huh. It's here. No noise. Mm -hmm. Finally. Jeez. Okay. I feel better about that. And now let's put this back. Let's get it all put back together. Stupid screw. Cost me 20 minutes. Damn you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm like, when my fingers are thinner, this was a lot easier. <laughs> Hope you all are learning something today. <laughs> Not to do this. Yeah, I mean, like seriously, don't sell these things to people that don't want to fly like normal people. <laughs> actually, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's like it's not that bad. It's just, um, actually, it's nothing really. I mean, it's that that one ribbon cable may be the only concern, but honestly, it's pretty simple. It's a lot easier to get into this controller than it is to get to like a free sky. Hmm. I, I think so. I mean, it's only eight screws, and the eight screws are simple now. The tension screws, I'm going to see. I, I don't think I'm going to like setting those back. So that's the only thing I'm concerned about. But we'll just mess with that when we do it here now. Okay, this is now the worst thing in the world to me, but it's all right. It's not magnetized either. Oh, you know what? I got this new thing. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. See, right there it would have fallen, but it didn't. It's magnetized. That is very awesome. It still would have fallen, but it didn't. <laughs> God darn it. At some point it's me. Okay, I'll own, I'll own it. At some point it's me. Like if it keeps happening, it's me. And right now it's definitely me. This is because I'm using a flathead. Oh. Okay, that's it. Going to the Phillips. Uh, piece of junk. Could have just made me look good for one second, but nope. Had to give me. All right, here we go. Now it's gonna go in. There we go. Phillips all the way. All right. So there's that. Let's put our ribbon cable back in. Are you gonna have those magnetizing units for selling your shop? Oh, they came with those screwdrivers. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Why not? I mean, it's definitely helped me. So I guess. All right. Here we go. So we're going to put this back together now, which will be a whole other problem on its own. Um, the Oh, no. Wait. Hold on. I can't actually. I need to wait one second because I need to make sure that I want to glue this wire down somewhere so that I can make sure it doesn't get in the way mm. of here. All right. So we're going to put a couple little drops of glue on these areas mm. just to keep them clear. Now, I'd say that I think that throttle-wise... I'm pretty pleased with how everything's going here. 
here we have we need a little bit of tension right here um, and I want to make sure I haven't forgotten to move anything so uh, I'm pretty sure that everything is right we move the tension over here for this so I think that's right I think that should be all we need to do but I just want to make sure and I think our glue guns ready so let's see let me just make sure this is down yeah and that's down yep yeah. okay that's down. Okay, so now it's to put this back together. <sighs> okay, let's pop this cable back in. And I don't know if I want to make it 100% yet because I want to put the tension screws in and see, but I also want to see where this pops, where this snaps. So let me just make sure. All right, let's get the glue. Yep, it's ready. Get off me now. Those damn strings of glue. All right, so we're good there. So what I wanna do here. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, that one. You bringing them all in, babe? Yeah. All right. With the help of the little ones to bring them in. I heard. Okay. Ready for Halloween? Yeah, no kidding. All right, now let's see where we're at. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of temporarily tighten this and just make sure that we put those tension screws in and we see how they do. That way, because if I got to open this back up, I don't want to keep popping all those plastic tabs because eventually they give. So let's just tighten it down. And tension can be adjusted from the outside. Yeah. So on this one, uh, let me see, we are going to go here but I gotta make sure I put this right so let me make sure I get this okay so we're gonna go here first Should see it move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. Now. We're gonna to go to the other side, or the other tension screw, which is gonna be right here. Magnetize it. 
Son, it went right through. I hate that. All right, hold on. I got to... Damn it. Hold on. I can't get it back out because it fell right in. That's what it did to me last time. You know what? I'm just going to send the other one in after it, too. Because I'm trying to see here. Well, there it is. Problem is, is I want to see. Oh, I see it. It's right there. You did say you were gonna do that. <laughs> Damn it! Why do I gotta be so right? <laughs> all right. Well, that was fun and all, but this is gonna get really annoying really fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, kind of do it a little different, I guess. And since you don't have to have the case on to do it, I'm just gonna do them without the case, okay? So so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the other tension screw, which was going, let me see if I was to put that, that is going here, I believe. Just make sure that that's right. Oh yeah, look at that. That's popping back now. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's for this one. Yep. And this one. So, I mean, you can't, remember guys, you definitely do not have to take the tension string, uh, spring out, or the tension screws out uh, when you take this off. Um, okay, so on this side now, keep in mind that um, this is the tension, so it's really, you don't have a tension screw on this side. This is more like you can do whatever you want with it. So, uh, this is left and right, okay, which is this one here, all right? So, it's kind of on you now. So, this one is left and right this one is top and bottom but this thing sits so there's no screw so this really just gets screwed in to, as a holder mm -hmm. but it doesn't get used on this side it was sitting out okay it you don't want to it won't it won't, doesn't have a purpose because it's you're, you're supposed to be disconnected from the spring anyway because you're using this okay yeah so do you want it in here or do you want to put it in a bag no we can go ahead and put it in okay so i'm just going to kind of Loosely. Leave it. Yeah, it's got to because I can't put tension to it. No. So there you go. So now all the tension screws are hooked up. I feel good. No more screws can get dropped in there. Now, the only thing left to do, which I don't like, is I have to crush the hell out of this thing to get these to snap. Okay, there's that sound again, but now I know why. <laughs> <laughs> like it's haunting me. All right. So yeah, guys, don't take the tension screws out. Only take the eight main screws out. Um, all right, it'll make it easier. So, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna close this up. Now we're good. So you wanna get your stuff ready so you can test it, okay? Yes, sir. If you wanna make sure that you're getting the feedback that you want. All right, now you guys are gonna put your eight screws back in, okay? So, you're good to go. I hope this helps, guys. I'm sorry if my video is not very informative, but too bad, just don't do this then. Cause it's really, you really don't want to. All right, so there's two. Now you can close this up. All right, let's put that back. All right, now let's go to the other side. Put the other two screws in. Uh, and where the heck did that go? Okay, so these are done. Oh yeah, that's right. We just set it in there. I was trying to figure out the tension screws, but I forgot we switched these around. Okay, so once we put this in, there you go. All right, peel this all the way back. Put these in. There you go, one, two. Tighten them down. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> we'll put the top screws in. No, we got left of the bottom screws, and this thing is done. We hope. Let's this a bit and pop that piece back in there. There we go. There. Okay. Let me do the bottom screws. Got that popped it in, and now we just put the little feet back on. And this project is done. And before you let your customer know you screwed up, just tell them, hey, thanks. Thanks for coming, buddy. Go test it at home. We gotta go. <laughs> All right, so we're good, guys. Everything is good. Now we've got our throttle moved over. So there's no programming change to this now, okay? That's the thing, is you literally just move the sticks, you leave everything on the controller and goggles like it is, and you're done, okay? So um, uh, I'm gonna, well, actually, let's plug it into Betaflight. Let's see. Right? Uh, so with props on because we were trying to kill ourselves. No. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take these off. By the way, an ice quad, where'd you get that? That oh, is a uh, custom. Up? That's right, it is, but what? All right. Oh, you can't, they can't even see it. My bad, guys. There you go. I took this out. There's the quad. My bad. All right, so we're going to get beta flight up. All right, then we're going to just basically make sure the sticks move properly. So let's get these off so I don't lose any more of my little sausage digits here. There we go. <coughs> Vampire cough. Thank you, Pam. All right. Okay, so let's share the computer screen now. Sorry about my desk being so messy, guys. All right, let's get this on. Oh, I need the battery. You got the battery? For uh, this. For your receiver or for your transmitter. Right. All right. You won't need your goggles, okay? So you're good yes, with sir. that. Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and turn the transmitter on. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the uh, beta flight. And let's get our power source with our, our smoke stopper. Everything's just beeping. It's not linked here. Oh, your throttle's on that side. Come on. That's it. You can't have these up, right? You have them set like this. Hey. They got no link between the two.
link now. Okay. I need this one. And it should be... This is the buzzer and LED. It should be... Yeah, but I just lost link two. There it goes back. Three. Oh, there it is. Uh -uh. Alright, let me get my USB because this beeping's driving me nuts, so hold on. Where's the USB cable? Not this one, that's my extension cable. Where is the USB cable? USB-C? No, uh, no, 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 go to the flight controller. Uh, micro. yeah, where is my USB micro? Sorry, oh, here it is, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Can't find any because it's been, got a messy desk. I'm just going to feed this through. Here it is. All right, got it. There, they're linked. Let me connect this. What is it? Buzz it. Is that... It's off right now. Let me go to modes. Put the beat, flip it. It should have been this one. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a bug on my desk? Come in from the Where'd he go? See him. Oh. I'm gonna go in for the kill. Nice. Yeah. Sorry about the beeping. We will um we will not be able to do anything about it right now, sorry. Um let me see what is going on with the receiver. So it's a link, but it's as if this has changed. So let me go check what is here. No, it's not changed. That's on. That's connected. What the, oh, wait. Let me go to the receiver here. Okay, well, I tell you what. Um, let's just at least, at the very least... God, shut up. Nice. I got something else beeping. Oh. Okay, so we're just going to save that. See if we can get this to shut up for a minute. Go ahead and get your goggles. I want to see what the goggles are saying on your screen. Can you grab those? Yeah. I'm curious to see if they're giving me an error. What does it show? Nothing right now. Yeah, I see it. Is there a warning? No, I see me. Oh, yeah, but I'm no, oh, warning, no warning or nothing. No ST, no ST. I like. I see, see.
Flip the, uh, move the stuff. There's no, okay, wait. There it is. Yeah, they just need to be initialized. All right, let's drop it down then. Let me exit. Okay, so there we go. So now what we want to see, okay, we need to, but this is all, there, okay. So what you have to do now is you have to come over here and we have to go to our controls and tell them to reverse everything, okay? So you press this down. Go to your remote controller, and you want to tell it, uh, if you go to your uh, servo setup, and you go to your uh, option for reverse, put the uh, aileron and elevators to normal, and reverse the throttle and the rudder, and then, I believe... Can you try now? This should, there you go. Yep. Yep. And there you go. That's it. Okay, so the only thing it's not is you need to recalibrate, okay? For zero. Yeah, so we need to get these back to zero and we need to, yep, so that's good. Good, good, good. Everything else is back to normal. So we've got to, you're gonna to wanna to recalibrate it. Mm -hmm. Make sure the sticks feel good, okay? Because you can adjust them. Um, is it supposed to have like a, like a, or is that okay? That's how you want it. Like you want to click it. That's how I wanted mine. That's fine. Yeah, I like the I, on the on the higher end gimbals. That's what you. That's like a, okay. Like on mine here. Let me show you the difference. So, because it's 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 kind of more of a way to make sure that when you're flying, you can feel it. Yeah. So right. like if you have mine now, you can reduce the tension of it. But if you look at this one, take the throttle. This is a basic QX7. Okay. So move that throttle on the left and the left one, right? Right, that's your throttle, because that's where it's going to be. Now, my throttle, this is the upgraded gimbal, so move this one. See how you have that? Now you can decrease the, the ticks. Yes. Okay, you want to decrease them? Decrease the ticks, yeah. but yes, I see what you're saying. That feels better. Yeah, because once you get used to that, you know that, okay, I go just a little bit, you can measure your movements then. Okay, so to, right. so to I need to unplug this real quick, because this is going to get hot. Okay. So to reduce the ticks on here, right, so uh, let's see, it is going to be this one here. It should be that one. And let me get, oh no wait, that's the placeholder one. Yeah, we moved here, so it's gonna be this one, I believe. Let me just make sure. Oh no, you know what? It's gonna be the tension, I think, inside the radio. Uh -oh. No, that's fine, I mean, we'll check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be inside the radio, so it's good. We'll just show everybody how to do it. Um, don't wanna mess with this one too much, because that we can do with the cover off, so let me just, I want to make sure this is right though. Yeah, I want to put that down a little bit more. Okay, so take this because we're linked up now. So let's give you that. You can just put those radios aside. It's fine. I'm going to take this powered off. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> what Justin is saying is that it's it's uh you can feel the uh, the yeah the teeth the clicks I guess when you're moving the throttle and he wants to reduce that so basically reduce the tension and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open it back up and this is something probably should have adjusted before I closed it so I'm gonna let him try that before we close it the next time so we're just gonna go ahead and feel that out. Okay, so now you guys know how to open this, but we're going to go ahead and do this again anyway. Just fold those over so the screws don't fall out.
What's up? I unplugged him. Oh, cool. Okay, and once we get these bottom two, then we'll just do the top two up here. Again, guys, just kind of hold it down like, uh, let me see how I do this. Kind of like this and just press into your hand and just try to pop it back. And if you pull the, let me stand up through this. If you pull back on the metal bar and you push on your hand, you'll pop it open slowly. There you go. Lift it up. All right, so what you're talking about is right here, right? So, uh, okay. so we want to do is... Yeah, so let me go ahead and just kind of loosen it up. Sounds so feel that I, I let, yeah, just get a feel for it. Is that too loose? Too much? Maybe just a tad, tad more. Uh, loose. Less, less. Okay. So we'll just wind that back a little bit more. I'm not sure how much it will be to detect it, but all right, give it a shot because we're. That's it. That's good. You sure that's good? I think so. It's real light. It's not. It didn't. It didn't uh, feel like you're resisting it or anything. Okay, do you want to have it fight back a little bit to hold where it's at? Because the problem is is that it's not supposed to, you know. Um, oh, yeah, it's supposed to. That's it's, it's, it needs to hold. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then give it so, a little more. Well, let me try this and see if this will help. See, this is going to bring it. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it something, but I'll try the other side. See if I can give it tension. Without the okay, so this side gives it some tension, right? Without the click, so I've tightened this side down for tension, so it holds. But it should still feel loose on the click. So try that. But I mean, we'll work with it until it gets oh, good. No, that's that's good. That's even okay. better. Okay, so we've got it holding, yes. but we've got it less on the clicks. Okay. That's so better. guys, just so just so you know, because I was checking this out myself right now, is that you do the right side or basically the outside screw for the tension but the inside screw for that clicking you know that notch feeling so you'll hear the gears more on this side and feel them and if you don't want that but you want you know you still need tension so you can hold the stick in place then tighten that side only okay guys so hopefully that helps that's something that i learned today and it works that way with both orientations right yeah all right so here we go i believe we've done this once we still haven't broke anything if he makes me open it again, I'll believe he's just trying to get me to break the shit. So <laughs> let's see. I'm just kidding. All right, so here we go. Let's close it up. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a bet. Somebody's got a bet. All right. And there we go. Because it was reversed, it wouldn't stop beeping. Because everything was opposite. Throttle had to actually be up until we went and reversed it. You understand what I mean? Yes. So it was reading so the. Was, so every time we kept pushing the throttle down, it was raising it up until we did it. I was sitting here going, still, I didn't understand. And then I got it. I'm like, wait a minute. So there you go, guys. Another thing is once you do this, you will you're, you're, you have to go back in like we did just a minute ago and reverse the um, all the stick settings, right? Because if not, we're sitting there cranking the throttle down, but because it's like we reverse the sticks, it's actually saying the throttle's up. So you've got to go and change that. And that's why it wouldn't stop beeping. Ah, that's, I'm glad you finagled with those sticks, man. I was like, wait a minute. All right, so um, 
so that's something new. So you can stop the annoying beeping before it drives everybody crazy. The one so it's not just a physical mod. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. Okay. Make sure it's pressed in. that last time too and I didn't push that one piece now there you go that little lip and guys I will tell you if you're like me and you don't want your shit to be all marked up I don't like how they tell you in these plastic pieces to run a credit card or plastic through really just put your hand and push okay because then you avoid all these little little I don't know I hate them when they when they start appearing on my stuff because I've opened it too many times so just press on it and don't worry about it you'll be fine can't get it, go work out an hour, and then come back and press it. You'll be fine, I promise. He's open to do these mods, too. <laughs> I'm not. Don't send me your crap. I will send it back to you. I mean, I mean, look, in all fairness, Justin offered to pay me $500 for this, to do this mod. And so for $500, I will do it. But I don't think many of you are going to do it. Thanks, Justin, by the way, for supporting my ads. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that you promised me that stuff. Oh, no, you know, it was... Got it. Yeah. All right, now. Now, with everything set... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Hold on to that. Uh, you want to try it again? Yes, sir. Let's fire it up. Here's your goggles. Well, you don't need your goggles now. I need the quad, though. Got it. Okay, so now we should have no problems. Everything should be set. So we're going to plug it in. And I'm going to show you guys the beta flight screen here. There it is. Let's do that. There we go. All right, so let's log in. Is it on? No, oh, you need your battery. Sure. Plug in my beta flight. All right. Let's connect. Let's reset. Let's go to configuration. Let's go to, sorry, let's go to receiver. Let's see what we got. There we go. So you do need to do your calibrations, okay? <coughs> you want to calibrate? Uh, you're talking? Centering it basically through the goggles. Oh. So to calibrate it, go ahead. You just take your goggles and you get to your setup screen. You want to do it? Or you want me to? I'll try it. Okay. Is there an output on there to go to my um, smart? So micro and USB C, so I don't have it. How do you? You know what? It's got to be. It's got to be. Hold on. Yes, it should feed. I know that's what I was thinking, but okay. So here it is, but USB. C. So how is it going to? Unless it's USB. So let me see if it connects USB. Uh, we're going to try to use a smart controller, so maybe you guys can see what he sees, real quick. This will be another big goofy thing. I have no idea how that's going to happen, but we'll try it. So here's my USB. What about you? Well, I don't have anything for that. <laughs> don't offer things I don't have freaking things to. I don't know. You think USB-C? Try it. Oh, uh, we can plug it Well, up. hold on. I got a USB. What do you have with that? USB-C? Yes. All right, let's... Do it's... you need the cable? Yeah, you got one? Yes. So, oh, wait, I have one too. Man, I'm a DJ ideal. I better have one. That ain't it, though. <laughs> the gray one over there is USB-C to USB micro. This one? Yes. No, this is an extension cable. Yeah, all right, yeah, grab yours, please, because I don't know where my stuff is. I mean, I'm so organized right now. So we're going to give this a shot and see if we can get this to work. Guys, it'd be kind of neat, I guess. I don't know how to do it, but let's see. Quick start, FPV Live, File Manager, Private Settings, Tips, Flight. Uh, I have no idea. 
None of this stuff makes sense to me. Okay. So, what, so far, what do we have? <laughs> Let's see what this is. Anything? Oh, hey. There it is. Nice. Look at that, guys. Woo. Hold on. I got to go big screen on this. Check that out. Man, oof. I gotta suck it in. It's... All right, so can you go to your menu screen? Press your, yeah, press, press the joystick right here. Okay. Press that down. Yeah, it doesn't show me. Damn it. That's too bad. Yeah, I can't do anything. Damn. Damn, damn. That's cool, though. So it's going to be under controller. Under settings. Yeah, and then you're going to see, I think, all the way to the right or something. Remote controller. Yeah, remote controller. And then you're going to see something for calibration. Yep. Okay. It's going to tell you to center it. Yeah, hang tight though, because I want to. This one's not in the center right now, so let me see if I can move it real quick. It says move control sticks to the maximum repeatedly. Oh, did you start it already? I can do it. I, I've do it again. Got it. Got it. Okay. Move control sticks to the maximum repeatedly. Good. Move left dial to the maximum repeatedly. Uh, your your actual dial scrolls. Says so complete. Okay, so it's still off a little bit. Oh no, there it goes. You're good. You run it again or no? No, it's good. It's just it's just bouncing a little bit. But I don't I don't. There it goes. I don't know if. Yeah, I need to secure that just a little bit more. But no, I think you're good. I just need to. Um, you, see. you see, it's got stick mode, mode one and mode two in here. Yeah, but you're gonna leave mode one because all we did is move the sticks. Right now, it's on mode two. Or mode two. I mean, sorry, yes. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mode two. Okay, so run calibration again. Um, no, hold on. I want to tighten these springs down a little bit because, being that they're a little loose right now, it's not gonna help you at all. Okay, so let's try it one more time with calibration. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Move sticks. Uh, oh, stay on the auto. Ensure control sticks are centered. Okay. No? Failed. No, no, failed. Ensure control sticks are centered. I mean, I... Yeah. Um, do you need to have this one centered first? Oh, shoot. Yeah, maybe. I'm sorry. I'm not even paying attention. Go ahead. All right. Move control sticks to the maximum repeatedly. All right. Move left dial to maximum repeatedly. That's complete. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's decent on that. All right, so there you go. And you should be pretty good here. That's pretty neat. It really is. I'm gonna plug my video though. Perfect.
that's coming back. We need to set your sub trims up a little bit, I think. But that's that's pretty good to start. Can you go to your um sub trims here. So, so you see how when it's in resting mode, you're at 1492 and 1498? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it says overheating. Okay, so um, you have to go to your um, re remote controller mm -hmm. and then go to your servo setup, which is the first one, and you see how there it says sub trim? Yes, yes. Okay, so you have to adjust your sub trim. Okay. And what that's going to do is watch what happens. See how I'm I'm I see I'm moving. You're moving roll right now. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way though. So let me go down the other way because I need it to get to 1500. Whoops. Okay, so there's a little delay there, but I need it to get to 1500. That's centered. Okay. Good. Yeah. So then we're going to go to the next one. Oh, you're training it centered. Yeah, you're you're basically when when the when the hardware won't get there, you put it there this way. This way the quad doesn't start veering off when the sticks are sitting normal. Got it. Make sense? And there you go. You're good to go. Now you're at 1500 on all three. This is golden. Got it. Awesome. Yeah, that worked out good. Let's go to motors. Yep. Perfect. Um, all right, look, we got to let it cool down. It's getting yes, too sir. hot. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, let me power this off. Disconnect. Yeah, that's getting hot. Okay, so good? Happy? Very happy. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's turn that off. Got everything done. And that's it, guys. So here you go. Don't try this at home. Say bye. Bye. We'll see y'all soon. Peace. Whoa, what happened? You knocked me out. That's a pretty interesting thing to do.